fresh um, grade file. We'll go to the setup and let's browse from previous. And I'll get rid of this file I want to recreate. Okay, I'm a, right now I'm set at the current data file. I'm going to go to my blank file, which should always be there, and copy that and paste it below. And on this paste, then we will um, rename it to be whatever you want. Okay, and now we select that file, and uh, hopefully, as we close, it will restart the program. Let's check the setup to make sure it's on the new blank file at Hatfield Demo, and it is. So basically now everything in here is blank. Okay. All right, so now we're going to um, go through a series of steps. Hopefully these will go smoothly. I'm going to use uh, not the new class wizard. Uh, that's kind of a, a tool that perhaps we need to work on a little more. It's kind of designed for one teacher on one class. Um, if you were going to do a, a group of classes, you may want to use the register format. I'll open the register up, and basically this allows you to put in a set of um, uh, schools, and then you put in your table of teachers, and put in your table of courses, and te terms, and students, and so forth. And uh, then you build your classes, and put the students in the classes, and then you're ready to go. So the first thing we'll do is we will, um, let's pretend that we have found a, a list of our schools somewhere, and let's say we'll open this up. I have some demo files in the app folder and these demo files are in this um, sample data that's just an Excel spreadsheet which is tables rows and columns and so forth so here's some schools okay we got it already open okay here's some schools and um, what you have to do to import these is of course match up the columns so I have school name address and I'm going to look at this in conjunction with my import tool. Um, let's see. Here's my import tool. I have, let's put one over the other. I have school name. That's uppercase. That might make a difference. I don't remember if I corrected for that. Address, city state zip. There's no dashes in it. So let's adjust that to be the same as the one up above. So city, state, zip. You have to match the spreadsheet to the, uh, the one up here. A phone, email, phone, and website. No email. Uh, website. Okay. So I'm going to just pick a couple of these schools, and this could be whatever the name of your particular school is, and copy those. And I do need to get this this in there with it. So I'm going to pull a trick here and copy this and then paste it right ahead of the ones I'm going to copy here. And now I have a row of headings and I got to get that row of headings and the schools that I want to select and then copy those in. Go to my program here and look for the paste append. And there it is. It pasted them in and there are the schools that you have basically from one table into the database. Now they're in the database and they're available for you to use. You can put your own school in there. If you want, of course, you can just add a school and type it in right here in this table. Next you can select a letterhead logo. Uh, this is for your grade reports. Uh, just click on this and select uh, some kind of a, 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 a logo from somewhere. Um, gosh, I might have one in here somewhere. Let me dig a little bit. Um, and we just need some sort of a, a logo here. There we go. Little circle logo. Classical High School, 1843. Wow. Okay, so there's a school logo there. Save that. All right, now we need some teachers, and uh, on my sample data, once again, I have a spreadsheet with some teachers in it, and each teacher has a, a school ID name. I'm not sure where this will be used later on. There could be a case where you need to identify a, a teacher by an ID number. Okay, and so we'll, uh, we will create this. So we can copy this table in here. 
and um, I've just done a copy and we'll switch over to the gradebook now the registration for the teachers once again we paste teachers and there's our teachers in there the, right now it isn't showing the ID number but the ID number I think it has been pasted there okay save your work uh, now you you get a list of your courses you can also just hit add here and add your courses uh, high school, grade school reading whatever they happen to be and so now we'll go to our spreadsheet once again go to courses and we'll grab a couple of courses uh, grade six reading grade seven reading let's just put a couple in there and we can just paste them into our, our uh, whoops wrong program there okay now we're in our courses and we can just once again paste the uh, courses in course ID grade level and course course ID grade level oh, I didn't get the headings in there so let's just get uh, we got to get the headings as part of the paste so we'll copy and once again paste we'll get rid of that first one with the delete button and now we have grade 5 reading grade 6 reading and so forth that's the course that's not the class okay you may have multiple sections of each of these right terms uh, once again we can uh, edit our terms in ahead of time whatever the case may be um, we got to have the headings at the top we can paste our once we get those in there we can paste our terms in there they are students uh, this is just a list of lots and lots of students so we can again get the headings you have a list of students from your school somewhere and we'll just paste these all in here there we go and this is the fast way if you have tables of data the fast way to get them all in you can add parents and parent emails and so forth and we those can appear on the on the reports save that work let's see that we have everything in now terms courses teachers and so forth okay so we've got our five basic tables here students terms courses teachers and schools and we have the information we can go back and add to those at any time you don't have to have these perfect before you go on and once you've got them in there then you go create a class okay to create a class you just hit BAM and you create a class and you can type in a section ID section 1 period and whatever period in the day is uh, 2b whatever the, the case is pick your school whichever school you've chosen pick your term and that didn't work and your course and that didn't work okay um, I'm going to try something see if these can populate correctly uh, I'm going to close it and reopen it might need to do that we'll try this again now we're back to here and we'll go back to register let's see if we can create our classes now see if it looks like it loaded them up pretty nicely here so first class um, section 1 period 2b school ID pick one term there we go quarter one course uh, course reading 5 and teacher whoever the teacher is okay in that class now you click on your save button and you've you created the class now you can go back again, hit the add class, pick a, pick the school. So let's assume it's the same. Let's say it's the same quarter, same uh, course. You have multiple sections here. Uh, teacher, um, if you have team teaching situation, you may need to uh, pick one of the two teachers to be attached to this. The other one can then be the secondary teacher, if you will. Quarter one save that and you have two classes made and you're good to go did I fill those in a little different section there section two okay and so now we have that in there I think I jumped over those save that we hope and we'll go back to add another class section three um, 3a Quarter one, reading five. Um, okay, 
whoever the, the primary teacher is. Right now we have one teacher assigned as the, the teacher of record, if you will. Save that. So we have several sections created from this. And finally, we need to add the students. Now this looks pretty complicated, but it's really not too bad. These are filters up here. So if we go to reading five, you can see that it popped up our, our quarter one, quarter two, there aren't any yet. So quarter one, there are the three classes, uh, th sections one, two, and three, periods 2B, 2A, 2B, and 3A. Now you just pick one and you, uh, <laughs> it's interesting, it's already got students in it. Um, does that work? I'm going to highlight them all and get them out of there. I'm not sure why they're in there. This is Reading 5 roster, and they're all gone. Now I'll, I'll, you can go through the list of your students. Hopefully you have all the students in your school listed, or most of them anyway. Just highlight the ones for this class, and add them to the class. Now go to the next class. It's blank, thank goodness. Clear this out. Um, clear the selections. Now click, I click the right, I right click to do that. Pick the students for this class and add those to the class. And finally go to your last class and this one has a bunch of students in it. Let's get those out of there. I'm going to just go through here and take them all out. Put them back in the general roster and clear the selections here. And now we'll go through and we'll select the students for this class. Just, just highlight the ones that are in the class. And hit the button that moves them over there. And you have the, the class signed up. So these are the tables. This gets your classes established. Okay, first steps were to fill in the school table, teacher table, course table, term table, student table, class table. Um, you've built the class out of um, teacher, course, and term. Okay, that pretty much makes it unique. Uh, there's probably a need for a room number or some such thing or a period number. Um, in any case, that's what we have now. Our enrollment, that's where the students get put into the class. And right now this isn't functional. Uh, this, is, this is an interface for the uh, CAT scan program later on. I'm still working on this piece here. So we'll ignore this for now. Okay, so there we have that part. Now you have your classes set. There's another big thing that you may be able to import. And let's show you how this works here. Um, I'm going to close the registration program and go ahead and go to the Goal Bank Builder. Let's put this in the size here as our neighbor's friendly dog serenades us in this sound studio. Ha ha ha. Okay. Uh, now we've got no goals in here. Um, we actually have a spreadsheet that contains um, a version, somebody's version of the Common Core. I found this online, so I just borrowed it. Um, I'm going to open that up. In the, it's in the app folder again. You go just to the bottom and look for the, the folders down here. My documents, that's your documents on your computer, app folder is the folder that goes with this uh, particular application and it has the Common Core spreadsheet in it. Pull that open and it's enormous. Um, it's very, very large. If you look at it, um, we have several thousand questions. English standards and math standards. And if you go through them, I think there's 988, 985 English standards and 510 math standards. Okay, You can put them all in. <coughs> 
Um, if you match up the headings correctly, let's go to the top of the columns and match up our headings correctly. Okay. I'm in the goal bank builder and I'm going to be able to take this as my starting point. And um, somebody down the line should have a version of the Common Core that's not in a, P, uh, not in a PDF that you can cut and paste. Okay, so I have ID and that needs to be topic ID. And category, that looks okay. Subcategory has a space here but not here, so we have to fix this one to match. So we'll take that space out and leave the caps in. And then this is just plain standard, so we'll take the word state off. Is there anything else to the right? No, that's it. Okay, so now I'm going to get those columns and get all the rows. This is the math standards. And that should do it. I'm going to just copy, go up to the program here, and find the paste from clipboard. Paste append is what we want. We just hit the button there and it puts them all in. It says some were cut off to fit their data columns. Some of these are very, very wordy and uh, you're probably not losing much when they're cut off. doesn't tell you which ones. So let's just take them as they are. If you find them later and you see one that seems to have been cut off, you can look it back up and, and add it. Um, let's go ahead. <coughs> We're saving still. I'm going to go back to the spreadsheet while the program is saving the, the standards. And I'm going to pick the English standards and match those up. Again, same way. I have to match up the headings exactly. And so this says topic ID. This says category. Oops, that's a, like a topic number. Okay, so I want this to just be ID, this to be topic ID, this to be category, subcategory without a space, standard with, without the word state. Now, if you have extras, it just won't put them anywhere. So we have an extra column here called ID, and there's no ID up here, so it's not going to do anything with that. So we'll just copy the columns that have headings that match, go to the bottom, I have about a thousand of them, copy them all. Clipboard's very big. We'll copy those and move it back up here to the, this is done saving now and so now we can go down here and don't have to move to the bottom you just hit the paste append and we should now have about 1500 when it's done importing down here at the bottom we hope to see in the neighborhood of 1500 items 1494 let's save those all and that may take a second or two so now we have taken our um, program. We've taken our program. And we have imported it into the database uh, in the, in the uh, builder program. In the goaltender program, excuse me. We're still waiting for it to finish saving. It has an awful lot of writing to do. Um, these are saved locally into your own database, so you can change these and add to them and subtract from them, whatever you'd like. You don't have to put all of them in. If you're just working on a reading, uh, a reading class and you don't have any other classes yourself, you may only want to put in the uh, English and reading goals and start use those as your starting points. Okay, it's all done with that now. That took a while to save. That's not unusual. That's a very massive amount of data and it's putting those into the columns and rows for this. 
Um, now there's a little procedure here that may take a little while to do and I can do it here and then send you this file and you can modify it to your own ends. Um, but I can filter these things out but what I would like to do is um, notice that I have some categories over here. These are all going to be common core. Okay. Um, I can then c add a category of reading or math or science or whatever to each one and a grade level to each one. The grade level may be buried in the ID number somehow and you should be able to dig it out of there with the filtering. And so these are what we have. You can add more categories if you need them. If you're doing social studies or something you can add social studies here and if you have uh, another level for yourself, a teacher level, you could have Common Core which is National, State, District, Department, Personal if you want. Okay, so now what we need to do with each of these is to attempt to classify them. So we're going to ob assign objectives to goals. Okay, so this these are re really the same spreadsheet, a little different view of them. But when I filter this one, it filters the next page also. Okay. All right. All right, we're going to select some rows. Um, let's select all of the reading. Sorry, all the math. Should be about 500, and we'll see it come up here. And that's all the reading. That's the end of the the end of the math right there. And these are the selected rows. Hmm. We'll come back to this. Okay, these are all common core and we're going to select all the math. That's what I wanted to do. I need to select one of these items at the top to do this. And now I'm going to, all, I selected the rows and I selected a value to assign to it. These are all going to be math and now I can uh, classify those rows and it'll fill them in all the way down the table. Quite a bit of time involved here. That's why it just takes a little bit of time to do this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put you on pause here and uh, work with these a little bit and this will take me 10 minutes or more and I'll come back here in a few minutes and we'll finish up uh, showing you how to finish up your setup. Okay, that was about a 14-hour uh, pause. I had to go finish some uh, things in Lincoln and come back. Um, we finished classifying all of our Common Core um, objectives that have been put in here into this uh, goal bank builder and this is ready to go now. You can add your own uh, if you need to later on. You can add additional uh, goals to this. This has the uh, um, this is this is a set of common core objectives that I found that I've included in your uh, in your application directory and uh, you can look at those in the spreadsheet anytime you want but they're here all classified common core means that of course they they are national level reading or math is the next categorizer finally the grade level so you can pull those up uh, in a few moments to add to your um, classes okay so we'll close that down um, okay so here's what we've done 
we have used the registration module to add our names to the first five tabs as needed. Uh, then on the classes, um, we've hit the add button and it creates a new class each time we do. Every time you add a new class, you fill in with the pull down menus where, where, uh, where it comes from. Uh, and then the enrollment, um, you, you select the classes. For example, quarter one classes, or, or for example, you could say classes for uh, Mr. Baldwin. You can select just, just by the, these are just selection filters up here. Or you can select by grade level, which will probably show them all. If you turn all your uh, filters off, you should see all of the classes down here. Once you select the classes down here, you can, you can simply add people to those by moving, uh, moving kids back and forth from the all students list to the reading roster list. Okay, that will set up your classes. And we have the the goals built. That's already in this um, this particular database, which I'm sending you, which is called Hatfield Demo. Okay, and so install that in the same place and and switch over using this this screen right here. Switch over to this one. Now you can uh, you can go back into your your um, your registration and just delete out my tables and then add what you need there to your tables and set your classes up and then finally when the when the tables are in and the classes are built and your rosters are in then you go to the gradebook You go to the grade book. We got a little error there, I think, because we have nothing in here yet. Um, and in the grade book, the first thing you will do then is to add goals. Once you add goals, you can you can pull up your topic, your objectives, uh, by math or science area or whatever you've added to your your objectives. Select a grade level. So if I wanted to say Filter on math, filter on grade three. Don't have any math grade three. Uh, what did I do wrong? Um, A math. Grade one. There's math grade one. Don't I have any math grade three? Grade two. I must have messed up on my grade my classification. I have all the grades except grade three. Anyway, that probably a mistake in my classification. So anyway, then you select the ones you want. Suppose you're in grade five, for example. Then you to to select an objective, you go down and you find the one you like. Hit the OK button. You can select more than one. Let's say we select two. Select one or more of the objectives, click OK, and they'll be added to your class. Then the next thing you'll want to do is to um, so, uh, to fill in some some friendly names for each. So go through each of the objectives you choose. These are usually technically uh, the bottom four fields over here on the right are what are in the database. These are yours to change up here. And these are the uh, friendly name and friendly description of the objective. Okay, so that should get you started. Uh, once you've selected the objectives for each class, then you go through and um, add your assessments. Okay, and you can work with me on that. Um, basically, you can fill them in here or you can edit your scores here and there's a, a video on that you can edit your scores here as you look through your overall uh, totals any any place where you see a table of your um, of your assessments you can you can do the editing the add the assessments here on the first page okay so this page gives you your topics and your assessments and allows you to edit this, the values of your assessments 
and you can edit the values of your assessments on the other pages also. So we'll stop there and let you get see if you can get it this far. If you pop up a little error now and then uh, try and just continue. I'm not sure I'm going to look at this uh, from the developer point of view and see what's wrong, but uh, please give me a call on, on Skype if you like, or just just uh, message, uh, use the instant messenger in Skype. I usually have it on, and um, you're more than welcome to just pop in a question anytime you want. So um, that's kind of for kind of my mode of, my, my general mode is to use the messenger, uh, is to use the instant messenger in Skype with people. That tends to be pretty easy to do. So Hey, good luck to you, and uh, I'll get this up uploaded for you. Bye.